Back in 2015, the city of Edmonton uh, enacted an herbicide ban in a lot of the parkland and public places. Uh, so the city had to figure out different ways of dealing with invasive species of weeds, uh, noxious weeds. Um, and one of the suggestions that they brought to the public was, well, you know, what about if we use goats? So my name is Catherine Bishop. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Anthropology at the University of Alberta. And this past summer, I was a sustainability scholar intern uh, with the city of Edmonton, helping with their Goat Works project. So working here at Rundle Park. So goats are a really interesting animal. They'll eat almost everything. Um, but the really cool thing is that if you have a younger kid who's first born or you have you know, younger ones, you can train them. Just like you could train a dog, pretend it's a treat. Get them to learn that from an early age. Uh, the kids will then eat what the moms are eating, so they're gonna learn how to do it that way. So if you have a whole herd of animals who are then trained to appreciate or to want those weeds the most, you, you have a herd that's actually gonna come in and target browse. I was able to actually, you know, pull grass with one hand and leafy spurge with another and went up to a goat and they kind of looked at both and then went for the leafy spurge. One of the things I was hired to do and was really interested in doing was the public education and engagement. So I wanted to create a toolkit that was, you know, how do you build a public education plan or how do you do a public awareness campaign so that programs like GoatWorks or other projects, they could have an idea, have a message, uh, start from scratch and kind of build that plan in place. So when we had our first group come in, they were grade two, so seven, eight year olds. How do you teach a noxious, like noxious weeds to them. And figuring out kind of how to relate it to the curriculum, how to relate it to their communities, how to kind of break it down on a more personal level allowed us to figure out how we adapted our talk. So we had a group from uh, the university who came on site and actually getting to see a real world kind of application of what they'd been learning in school. But they also got to see people working in that field. It's something that you're able to relate to more. Um, and it, you're more excited about it. But there's so many different things I'm gonna take away from my sustainability role. As an archeologist, my research is very much in the field. I'm very much working within another community. And this has given me kind of a different way to think about how to do that. So it's been a really, really engaging process for me. So I'm not just engaging with the public, but I'm also getting to engage with this whole concept of public education, which I was, yes, I was excited about the goats because it relates to my research, but I was more excited about the opportunity to do public education, to actually engage with the community. <laughs>